hope all of you are doing fine all of you are doing good guys if you are new to this channel you know what to do press on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon for future notification i hope you have watched sea base treatment plan part 1 and part 2 if you have not watched it go to my description below and watch it so guys today is the finale of the sea base treatment plan that is the last part of sea base treatment plan part 3 So guys in this finale part of sewage treatment plan I am going to completely discuss about the sewage treatment plan how sewage is being treated <laughs> but how will i explain it well the best possible way to explain anything is through animation and yeah guys in this video i am going to explain the entire treatment of sewage through animation so guys let's not waste any time grab a pen and a paper let's go to the video and check out what it is all about Sewage treatment plan part three. Run. A few moments later. Sewage treatment plant. The sewage treatment plant has four compartments. Incoming waste passes through a coarse screen into the primary collection tank, where it remains until displaced by overflow into the aeration section. The connection is provided so that the primary collection tank can be pumped out. Breakdown of the waste in the aeration compartment is induced by bacteriological organisms promoted by the presence of oxygen. The oxygen is supplied by the air from the blowers which enters the aeration section through a fine bubble diffuser at the bottom. The diffuser is of porous material so that clean air is needed to prevent blockage. The bubbles besides providing oxygen also create a turbulence so that settlement is prevented and good mixing obtained. After prolonged aeration the mixed liquor is displaced into the settlement tank where the biological fluke is formed. Activated sludge gravitates to the bottom and is continuously withdrawn and returned to the aeration chamber to mix with incoming waste. In the unit shown the sludge is returned to the aeration compartment by an airlift. Clean effluent from the top of the settling tank is collected in the lost compartment for disinfection and discharge overboard. Two float switches in the final section control the discharge pump. As the tank fills, the top float switch starts it. When the low level float switch stops the pump it simultaneously opens a solenoid valve in the water supply line to the hypochlorinator in passing through the chlorinator the water forms a sterilizing solution a timing device on the solenoid valve allows the correct amount of solution into the treatment tank to deal with the next charge There are various means of sterilization and tablets of compound used in one method may become unstable and dangerous during storage. The bacteria in the aerobic treatment plant must be kept alive by maintaining the correct conditions. They are sensitive to temperature, type of water and regularity of flow. If the installation is shut down for a long period the bacteria dies so that a new colony has to be started regular removal of sludge will prevent impairment of operation the sludge is pumped overboard when the vessel is at sea clear of areas where restrictions are in force small quantities can be burned in an incinerator these are fitted in some vessels effluent discharge overboard through the sewage plant when the vessel is in port or restricted to water will have to meet certain standards the tests have been established one is simply a check of quantity of solid material in the influent two others involve incubation of samples and would probably be carried out in a lab one eternity later so guys how was the video I hope you really liked it. So guys, if you really liked it, can share with your friends. And yeah guys, don't forget to press the subscribe button and press on the bell icon for future notification. So guys, thank you and have a nice day.